Hello everybody and welcome back to Little Blue Homestead. This is Tasha speaking and it is 54 degrees outside my tunnel, my cold frame tunnel, my uh, cold tunnel, hot tunnel, whatever you want to call it. It's 54 degrees outside and it is a beautiful 68, almost 7 degrees inside the tunnel. So it is holding heat. And the sun is always going to be in the way, so sorry about the overexposure, not exposure, all that. But last time I was going to show you the inside, however, I did not, um, well, something happened. I don't know how to explain it, something happened. So, what are we the next best thing? Today, the main thing is to get the ground ready. And what I mean by getting the ground ready is laying down cardboard and um, wood chips and soil. We're getting the ground ready for the spring season to come, but we're also using this for our winter, for winter right now. <clears throat> so the main thing is just to get it leveled out so I can put um, plants inside down in here so they can ac ac accommodate accumulate uh so they can get used to this weather but when i do that then i'm going to put the sides up but right now because it's nice and hot in here we're going to enjoy this so let me turn this around and show you guys what we have so right now this is our tunnel Ain't it pretty? Nothing in it. But it's not going to be like this for long. As you can see, I started putting down the um, row of paper. Everyday paper you can find at Lowe's, Home Depot, John General Hardware Store. It's painting paper. But I put that down, ran out, so now we have to put down cardboard. And I'm going to go ahead and get started on that. Alright, so I'm laying down the cardboard. The cardboard is used as a hinderer or just it stops the weeds from coming through same with the wood chips have you noticed from previous videos we do have a lot of weeds aka grass so we do try to stop so whenever we can we do drop cardboard as a way to deter the grass from growing in as a way for when it breaks down it becomes part of the composting cycle we do remove the tape And we remove, we remove the tape and we also uh, remove any of the stickers on it so it would be basically cardboard. Now I am wetting down the cardboard so it can help decompose faster so when I put the wood chips on it, it already has started to have some heat to it and it helps keep the cardboard down, makes it a little bit heavier whenever I it's a windy day. So just another precaution to try to keep some moisture inside of the ground. As many of you know, I have a giant, several giant piles of wood chips. So this is from those piles. It has started decomposing since it's been there for a while, so it's nice material. It's just organic wood chips that you get from cutting down trees and, and let's see here oh yeah thanks to my lovely cousin he is now a photographer is it recording Alright, so it is the next day and we did finish putting the wood chips down. 
So now I am going to go ahead and set up the inside of the greenhouse or the code frame, whatever you want to call it at this point right now is just a next stage of growing. All right, so let's see here. So in the back we have a four tier um, co-frame slash they'll call them greenhouses that you can get from Amazon. Ours we got it about three years, maybe four years ago, and we got it from Lowe's. Oh, was it Home Depot? One of the two. And let's see here. Also, it comes with wire racks, which is pretty good. It helps whenever you're watering. So we're glad for that. And then we got mm, the table. The table we inherited from my dad. He made that. So it's very, very important to us. That's why I am covering it up with an out of season cloth so I don't mess up the table. This is a five tier rack that we got. Just making sure it can fold still. Don't know why I folded it. I just did. But it's a five tier rack that we invested in. So that also helps. Which we're going to put the, the plants on. They're not really seedlings, but we'll put the plants on there. And let's see what else do I got at hand. <clears throat> Now this is one of the de this is the disassembled green stock that my mother bought me from Christmas slash birthday present. And you're going to see two things here. I am assembling this thing, which is quite easy to assemble. As long as you remember one thing. How to put it in order, which I forgot. So here I am removing and putting it back together in order. Quite simple, quite easy. It does take up a lot of dirt, just to FYI. But I do like having it because it's kind of one of those things where I'm learning to grow in it. I haven't figured it out, but I am learning. Which I'm quite happy with. Because I did get some herbs from that last year. Alright, here I go. I am getting the top, which is the watering um, basin. There's no sunlight, and I am going to need to probably get me one of those ring lights. Alright. So, here we go, people. This is the inside of the code frame slash hoop house slash... I don't know what you want to call it, but here's the inside. So, let me take you a tour. Ta -da! So we do, I did just got finished bringing in the green stalk. Um, we are going to see if we can get her and get the lettuces going. Got one shelving unit, the table, and then another shelving unit in the back, which is a little mini coat frame. That one right there. So we are... Four stoves in one time. That's not good. We will be putting the plants out here very shortly. We've already started getting the, not the cucumbers, the collard greens, the cauliflowers, all my green, all my spring stuff. We're already starting to move them out. We got to get some more seedlings for the, not Brussels, um, not broccoli. Broccoli needs to get done as well. So here we go, people. This is it. This is the weekend project for this week. It is day two. It did take me a while to put these wood chips down on the ground. Yeah, so we did the ground. We got the wood chips. This is actually keeping about 10 degrees warmer during the day. And I believe it's keeping about five degrees at night. I am going to go ahead and get a thermometer to hang it from here. And I'm going to do a week test, which means every day in the morning when I wake up and then when I come home from work, 
to check to see what is the temperature so I know what what's going on in the inside now that I got everything in here we're almost there people we are almost there now other than that we are getting ready for another cold front here in the state of Texas and some rain which would be good because my garden needs it well it's not a garden right now I'm growing cow panels but we need it so what else what else that's it so I hope you guys are enjoying your winter I hope I know some people are already starting to get their sprouts going for spring like I am whatever you're doing enjoy it if you haven't found a hobby start one it is never too late to start something you love or may love or may hate you don't know until you try it other than that this is Tasha from Little Blue Homestead saying peace out people be safe and I will see you later bye